Research Network Project International Bueno, para mí lo que claramente el, el proyecto está mostrando es que el sector de salud tiene un papel importantísimo que no está cumpliendo casi con las expectativas ¿no? que, uh -huh. que debería tener como ese rol central dentro de, de este mundo multisectorial uh -huh. y, que, y que hay que seguir trabajando para asegurarnos que, pues esto, que el sector de salud no solo sea... Pues, centrado en la, en la salud física, sino que realmente tome este, este papel central en la respuesta y en la prevención a la violencia. Y, y, y también un punto de que el sector salud, por lo menos en Albania y en Brasil, no están realmente integrados en el, en uh -huh. el sistema de respuesta, uh -huh. pero porque esos sistemas no están integrados entre ellos. Uh -huh. Realmente se ve que en Albania, por ejemplo, la la policía, la, el, el, la fiscalía, salud, cada uno intenta hacer su trabajo, pero no coordinan y se pierden uh -huh. muchas mujeres en, en este sistema de uh -huh. referencia y contrarreferencia. Es fundamental. Creo que eso también ha sido muy interesante en la última charla, donde realmente se hablaba también más de la práctica, ¿no? Oír pues, de personas que están implementando, cómo pues, el tener datos, el entender qué funciona, qué no funciona, el aprender cuándo se implementan cosas, y, y, y como oír de ellas la importancia de esto ha sido para mí súper interesante uh -huh. también y ver pues esto, el, el, la importancia de trabajar de forma conjunta no solo los sectores que dan respuesta a la violencia con el, centro, como el, con el sector salud, en el ce igual no en el centro, pero teniendo un papel súper importante, uh -huh. sino también pues esto, otros actores como nosotros desde el, desde el punto más académico ¿no? uh -huh. y la importancia de, de esto para generar... Sí, conocimiento y nuevas prácticas y, y mejorar. Uh, Isabella, tu uh, presentación fue realmente captivating. I feel like everyone loved it, and mm, it really you. got me thinking <laughs> about how important this uh, this study has been to the organization. So yeah. the counseling line for women and girls has been mm -hmm. established since 1996. Mm -hmm. We run the national helpline. So when we first got to this study, we were like. Yeah, you are going to study the bottlenecks and the gaps in the system, in the healthcare system for women accessing it. But to be honest, we already know it because we work with them every day. We work with systems, we work with victims. But then when this actually started to happen, when we started co collaborating every day with researchers, local, you and the team from Basel, mm -hmm. and they also introduced us to this systems thinking approach, It was very different because you could see yeah. in depth how, where the system was lagging, uh, where everything was failing, who was failing the, the victims of domestic violence and what we could do to change it. Yeah, but I believe that this is very important to the um, research because in Belo Horizonte City, for example, we did the same as you as mentioned, and uh, we, ta we tried to involve, to engage the management and, uh, uh, per, for example, Belo Horizonte City Hall to join with us uh, during this research. Then we collaborated together to build this design of research. Then I believe that this uh, third part of the project uh, to build this map with the responsibilities, with the, all this map of the health systems, it will be uh, very interesting to understand the the role of the public health and, and, and the role of the health sector in this uh, to tackle uh, violence against women. It's very true and we already have plans now. We are thinking about yeah. advocacy yeah. in the healthcare system, we're thinking about training the doctors, and bring, training the social workers, yeah. bringing knowledge, yeah. awareness raising because we realize they suffer from biases as well, just like yeah. everyone else. Yeah. So we're already up there for action. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we are together for action. Because, in, for example, in, in Brazil, uh, the, uh, all the actions and services are public, yeah. are from the government. It's different uh, when we compare to Albania. Yeah. Then we have a uh, to do a, a very strong effort because there are the bureaucracy to <laughs> as a yeah, barrier that we have to to deal with and uh, yeah that's it I believe that the key point is 
work together, yeah. work together, training, um, continues this uh, partnership between research be uh, with the worker, health workers, then maybe with that, with this partnership, we can get better results, better protocols. And as you said, in, in Albania, you have this consulting line. And using yeah. this expertise with the worker and, and research uh, part, it changes, changes oh, lives. Very true. Yeah, because femicide, as we saw, is uh, preventable, yeah. uh, is uh, expected when uh, humans suffer um, um, multiple cases of violence, yeah. then we can do, we need to do something and we need to <laughs> uh, put a collaborate yeah. and put uh, many efforts to do that.